Hello and welcome to another episode of my Beginner's Guide to Apple's Reminders. And in this week's episode, we're going to look at the tags that you can use within Reminders. And I'm going to show you what you can use tags for in order to make Reminders a little bit more customized for the things that you want to see on a daily basis. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks, and news on using Apple's productivity tools, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into my Apple Reminders now, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about tags. Okay, so just before we get started, I just would like to point out that in this week's episode, we're using Reminders on macOS Ventura. So this is the latest Mac operating system. So if you're using an iMac uh, or any kind of laptop, MacBook or MacBook Air, then this is what you're going to see. These are slightly different from what you would see on an iPad or indeed, obviously, the iPhone. So first of all, let's get created. Well, let's create a task. So I'm going to order a new um, coat. Now, the thing about tags is that what you don't want to be doing is creating tags that you actually have already as lists. So for example, this would be a personal task, but I've already got a home task. So that's really the same thing. What I'm going to call this is I'm going to call this purchases. Now, what you need to do is you need to put the hashtag in first and then purchases. And when you hit return, that has now become a tag. So now I have my tag of purchases. Now, what I would like to do is also create another one. So let's go and say uh, order new or oh, let's go cashmere uh, sweater. And again, this is going to be I'm going to add a tag. And as soon as I hit that, you'll see that my previous tag is going to come up. So all I have to do is tap that. So there's another one for purchases. Now let's go on and add a few more tasks here. So we could sort of say um, clean up uh, the house. Now here I've got a problem because Obviously, cleaning up the house is something I'm going to do at home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this chores. So I'm going to put a hashtag. I'm going to call this chores. And so that's now in. And so we have a couple of tags already. Now let's go into something else. So just to give you an idea of the kind of tags that you want to do is call Fred about a heating system because it's getting cold here now. So what we've got is we've got a verb here called call. So I'm going to add this. Now, what I'm going to do is you can call this calls, but I'm going to call this communications because I tend to group all my communications together and deal with them later in the day. So example, I could now add another task is email Sarah about next week's meeting. And now that's going to come up next week, but I'm not I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to add a tag and that's going to come under communications. So it makes it as you add more tags, it actually makes it quite easy for you to be able to quickly add a tag. So don't worry. It's not like you have to type out the tag every single time. Now, as we've now created those, what you'll notice is I've got all these tags coming up here. So if I tap on chores, it's going to give me all my tags that have got the tag chore. So clean up the house. Uh, purchases, I can tap on that and it's going to show me purchases. Actually, I've got two tags. The reason why this is showing nothing is because I've actually tapped two tags. So I just remove that and you'll see that all my my actual tags come up. Now I can actually change things here. If you look at this, this is obviously in the new iOS 16 and Ventura. I can now just tap on that and any selected. So if I go in there, I can click on chores and purchases. So that will show me all my chores 
and purchases today. I don't know why I would do that, but anyway, there you go. So you can actually change things here. So all selected or any selected. So you can go in there and you can show your tags or whatever you want to do and see whatever you want. So this is a really quick way of being able to get to your list. So it could be that I'm sat at my desk, I've got a, I've got 20 minutes and I'm thinking, yeah, what would I like? What do I need to, to purchase right now? I can just tap in there and I've got my purchases coming up straight away. So that's one way of doing it. And this is really the power of tags will come in in our next episode when we look at creating a few smart lists that we can use the tags with. But this is just to give you a brief overview of what tags can be used for. I would start suggest that you start adding tags to your tasks now because it does make life a little bit easier when you want to start filtering things down and being able to sort of like compartmentalize your work. So there you go. That's really all I wanted to do is cover on tags today. Start playing around with them. Don't go mad. Remember, try not to create tags that have that you already have lists for. So you don't want to have a tag for home, a tag for work, routines, shopping, etc. Because you've already got a list for that. So you don't need to separate these out. This is like fine tuning your kind of list if you like. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in Reminders and, and Notes. We're gonna be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem, I can guarantee is gonna make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks. It's all gonna be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the time sector system and my brand new notes organization system Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course and don't forget if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.